Okay, Dogie guys, so for this video, I'm literally gonna show you one of the worst potential freaking weapons of all time that nobody has ever used in say the world history. Not even upgraded, not even testing it out. But for me, I wanna give you guys something different for once. And that weapon is the Zephatron. Now, trust me, have you literally seen anyone shoot this weapon at all? I highly doubt it. Although, it does look like an assault rifle, which I thought it was, just in case. But, it turns out to be a freaking sniper rifle. And I thought to myself, like, really? This thing's a sniper rifle? I mean, just look at the build of this weapon. It's built to be an assault rifle, not in a sniper rifle. But in that sense, people have literally rated this weapon as an F. Like, do not touch this weapon, do not upgrade it, do not use it, do not prick it up. But in my sense, I'm gonna prick it the hell up. So I can see if there's literally a hidden perfect build for this weapon. So I'm going to test it out, and this is going to be fun, and I cannot wait to show you guys to see what I get from this weapon, because, oh man, oh man, I don't think I've ever seen this weapon being used at all in public lobbies. Jesus Christ, this is going to be something else. So here's a Zapatron, plain as day, plain as a freaking rabbit going around and killing Husk. Now... Let's see what kind of damage it does. Now, it only holds six bullets, such as an energy. And when you charge it up, it's gonna potentially, maybe, do a sucker punch to the husk, so. Oh, w wait, what? Did he disappear? What the hell just went on there? I'm not sure what happened because I didn't think I see any, I, I didn't see any damage at all. What the hell just happened there? Well, since this is a sniper rifle, let's test out the range on this baby. So we got some husk over there. And of course, you know, when you zoom in with this weapon, it's going to shake like freaking crazy. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not, or that's just part of the weapon because it's just charging up like a microwave. Now you cannot like hold it like, oh my god, this thing's going crazy. So we have 94 husk and have a 130 weapon. So let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure if I killed anything. I, I think I just woke him up instead. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it looks like one shot kills them with an energy weapon. What? I literally just killed three husks with one bullet. That's crazy. So I have four bullets right here in the chamber. Wow. That is insane. Although it's quite annoying holding down the L2 and the freaking camera just shaking. But since we got a basic husk right here, boink, you're dead. And it doesn't even show the damage at all, which is pretty strange. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Hmm. So far, it's doing pretty... Awesome head damage to the husk. Yes, I know I'm using a 130 on 94 husk, but Wow, if people are calling this weapon terrible, it might be missing out You know Just look at that There's a sleepy little fat boy. Let's go wake him up right here Actually, let me fully charge this weapon get the maximum potential But of course I got this little annoying ass lobber lobster whatever her name is all right, I'm sorry, buddy, but I gotta wake you up from your chamber. Now die. Oh. <laughs> and I got the freaking fumble. Boom, bitch. You dead. You dead. I decided to take a different approach on this weapon, so I decided to use Premier Strike, locked and loaded, make it rain. Let's see if it does any difference, because when I was playing with the first build, with the fumble and break beat wildcat. I didn't really get anything out of that build. So for this one, I'm gonna try it out. So with the second build I did, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to significantly kill the Hus more faster with the Zepatron. One of the worst weapons in the Save the World universe. Oh man, that fatty looks so different. Okay, man, here's for the headshot. 124 with the 130 Zepatron. Boom! <laughs> oh my god and the freaking Huzz dies from one shot of a Zapatron that is unbelievable so I gotta test the range once again 
All right, 124 Gunslinger. Of course, my guy will stop moving for one second. <laughs> I just killed him from that far away. All right, it's your turn, buddy, since you want a piece of me. Let's get it on, baby. Mmm. Boom. Come on, come get some. Wow. Okay, hopefully this is going to pierce, so... Come on, you two, line up, line up. And then right about there. Would you look at that? Jesus. I'm doing some major damage to these heads with this Zapatron. Unbelievable. Holy cow. Now, like I said, I noticed that when you shoot this weapon, you gotta aim for the head. But at some certain times, if you shoot it freely, just like this, one, two, three. I shot him three times and he died. So let's see. One, two, one, two. They died twice by two energy bullets. Now what I'm thinking is that if you're going to use this weapon, you're probably going to save a lot more ammo. In that case, if it's only going to take two bullets to just to kill one husk and plus it pierces, that is unbelievable. But we got a little smashy boy. It is physical and look at that right there. I killed two husks from that distance. Holy cow. Now you don't really have to charge it. You can just shoot it freely just like this. But no, of course, you, here he comes in with his little buddies and his little friends. So I'm going to have to shockwave. Because I know these lobbers are going to get super duper annoying. One shot, you're dead. Two shots, you're dead. Oh god, please don't die. Oh, of course I freaking die because of bees. This is what I hate about this game. There's the bees. I can't test anything. Freaking bees. So unfortunately, when I was trying to uh, make this gun a headshot build, there was only one perk that I had to take off, and it was the critical rating, so yeah, there's pretty much nothing I can do with that. But here we go, a 130 versus 140 enemies, and this thing is probably going to pierce, so I'm going to aim for the head, and pa. Okay, okay, oh yeah, please run a straight line, please do so. Oh, I even got him too, boy. Mmm. Wow. So, to me, I've been playing with this weapon for like a good hour. Trying to get some good footage. And I realized, if you want to use this weapon, I would suggest not to use it in missions, but to use it like in resupply or eliminate collect, rescue the survivors. Maybe destroy the cabin, but I want to. I wouldn't want to use this to deliver the bomb or fight the storm or any stuff like that. But yeah, so far this weapon has been pretty freaking surprising, man. Like this is what I love about playing Fortnite City World. Just getting these weapons I haven't even tried and just testing them out. And look at that! I just shot that guy right in the face, and already that fatty, his life was already down so low. But as a Persepatron, man, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. You know what? I'm going to test out what it does to the building. Well, I'm just going to kill one more husk. All right, you're gone, buddy. You just disintegrated. Is it good? Oh, wow. That is terrible. That is really, really terrible. Now, like I said before, the only annoying thing about this weapon is the charge-up. So, like, when you do... When you aim, there's a little shakiness, so I'm not sure that's part of the glitch or not, but I'm guessing you're just going to have to deal with it unless someone makes a mention of it, be like, hey, you know, can you stop the shakiness from the Zapatron? But I highly doubt that's going to get fixed because nobody ever uses this weapon. This thing is a, uh, it's a sleeper. It's definitely a sleeper. So you can literally shoot it once if you want to, which sometimes I find to be pretty good damage against the husk, no matter if it's physical, elemental. So if you shoot it with a singular shot, it's going to cause some damage to them. And it pierces as well, which is freaking fantastic. Now, you can use Redline Ramirez, you can use Up zero Zinth, 
You can use Rabbit Raider Jonesy for this weapon, just for a fun build, you know, if you're just tired of using the, obliter uh, <laughs> the Obliterator, the Neon Sniper, the Boom Bow, and you just want to try something out new for once, because you're just tired of everything, go for the Zepatron, bro. Now that I'm playing within like an hour, just testing this baby out, it's not that bad, but like I said, I wouldn't want to use this for major missions. I'll probably use this weapon for, you know, just to kill some time, just, just some basic missions that I don't have to worry about that are really easy, like rescue the survivors, because you're just rescuing the survivors, it's not like I'm trying to freaking fight a damn category 4 storm with this baby. And of course I missed with that one. So, yeah guys, I just, I'm very surprised about this weapon, and they're rated as an F. To me, I would rate it as a, hmm, I'm not, I don't know, because some somebody probably might have a little secret build, but I think I'll probably rate this weapon as a C minus so far. A C minus, I wouldn't rate this as the worst weapon of all time. If I can kill the husk with one or two shots of this weapon, then damn, bro, I'm doing something really freaking good and then look at the stats I mean 167,000 headshot damage and look at that critical hit damage and chance insane alright so I'm gonna see if I can try to hit that husk right there okay so that sucks but I know I can hit that guy for sure what okay how about one? Oh, he's dead <laughs> wow bro wow I can't believe it. That's insane, bro. So, it, it depends how you want to shoot this weapon. If you want to charge it up, if you want to single shot it, it's all up to you. And plus, when you go when you go whole hog with a war cry, it's just insane. You get that reload speed, and you're just shooting him down just one by one. Damn, son. I'm going full tilt, baby. Before in this video, I'm literally going to kill that smasher. Alright, come on, look at me, smasher. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Yes, I know. There you go. Come on, come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Ooh, this gun is doing some poo-poo damage. Some little poo-poo damage. Oh, you a little tired there, buddy? Don't worry, I'm going to need some more cry. Now you better wake your ass up. Come on, come on. Mmm, mmm. This microwave popcorn weapon is kicking your ass. Okay, I'm literally hitting him in the head, and wow. But as you can see, he's pretty much snared. Alright, Kamehameha! Wow, I literally thought I was gonna kill him right there. Okay, how about this big bang attack? There you go. Okay, well that being said, do not kill Smashers with a Zapatron. But if you wanna have fun, go right ahead. Alright guys, so I gotta thank everyone for watching this video. Like and subscribe, and if you're definitely new, and I'm gonna be definitely playing with the Zebratron a lot more during my live stream so I can show the power of this baby because this weapon could be a potential sleeper, and we just never know because honestly, you're never gonna see nobody with this weapon. Nobody at all. But your boy will. But alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I'll see you guys on the next Dragon Ball Z.